Hey guys, Soup Horror Bro Mike here, and today we are looking at Blank Room Soup, a creepy and mysterious video from the deep web. So what is Blank Room Soup? Blank Room Soup is a video file first uploaded to the deep web and discovered in 2008, at which point it was re-uploaded to YouTube and after that went viral. The contents of this video are highly creepy and disturbing. A man sits naked at a table in a featureless white room, his eyes censored for the video. He breathes heavily as if panicked as he eats from a soup bowl with a large wooden spoon. At this point, another man dressed in black wearing a gigantic prosthetic head enters the room from behind and proceeds to stroke the man eating the soup as if to reassure him. This only distresses the man further. We then see a third man enter the frame also dressed in black and wearing another giant head. He also begins stroking the man at the table who finally breaks down into hysterics and fits of tears. <laughs> <laughs> there is also a second part to the Blank Room Soup video in which the man seems calmer and continues to eat from the bowl. The two masked men appear at the door. Before rushing him, we then hear a scream and the camera cuts out. <coughs> So, what does all this mean? Well, the original story behind the Blank Room Soup videos was that the man eating soup was actually abducted by the two men in black, as was his wife. The two abductors had, it was said, murdered the man's wife, chopped her up and cooked her in a soup, which was then fed to the husband. It was also said that the husband was later killed by these two masked men after the video ended. This may or may not be true, the video was, as far as we know, discovered on the deep web, which is a place to upload illegal material with anonymity. So that does add some credibility to the idea that the man in the video was an abductee. Also, the body language and sounds the man makes throughout Blank Room Soup certainly look and sound authentic, either that or some pretty convincing acting. The one part of this theory that I personally don't buy into is that the soup the man is eating has human remains in it, much less remains of his own wife. There is simply no hard evidence I found to support that. Many people have speculated that this could be a Chinese Mafia torture video due to the fact the man in the video does look East Asian in appearance. The fact of the matter is that nobody really knows, even after nine years, the exact origin of this video or the meaning behind it, and in the age of the internet where it's hard to keep anything secret, especially something as investigated as this video, that's pretty creepy, right? Despite no concrete resolution to this particular video's origins, we do know a few interesting pieces of information. There is a performance artist called Raymond Percy who created the design of the two costumes seen in the original Blank Room Soup video footage. The act these costumes were part of was known as Ray Ray. Raymond stated that before one of his Ray Ray shows, two costumes were stolen from his trailer. Percy also commented that he believed Blank Room Soup may have been a weird fan letter to his Ray Ray act from the two people involved in the robbery. Just this year, a hacker claiming to be one of the people responsible for the theft of the Ray Ray costumes contacted a horror theorist known as Mr. Enigma, stating the following. Once upon a time there was an artist, an alchemist if you will, for magic is the highest form of art, and all art is an impure form of magic. He was a confused soul, was he an artist tapping into his own insecurities, or was he a corporate artisan? Those skilled and respected, working for corporate entities. Corporate entities are created on will and fueled by ego, neither good nor evil, but like religions, they benefit those who join, invest and consume. If one benefits from a corporate system, oftentimes the corporation will feed their will and ego. But what does that do to one's insecurities, one's well of creativity? Corporate entities are gods in and of themselves, so is your own heart. We saw this conflict within his special shows. Although it was an attempt to worship the god of his heart, the corporate gods would interfere, if not with his schedule, but with what can and cannot be done, much like a distant nagging voice from the parents who raised you. We saw this in his shows, we experienced this, and it was a shame that this thought form, this servitor, this character was wasted away, trapped by the limitations of a creator and his collaborators. So when the conditions were right, we freed them. Not just the suits, we freed them. 
Awards and accolades were won, addictions were healed, a side effect, we never intended ill nor goodwill onto these creators, but correlation becomes causation when repeated. We are not the bad guy, but in a world of dogs one catches fleas. Just as carnal sin can create a pure and loving child, just as stealing is a form of liberation, art and destruction. After this email was sent out, the hacker going by the name Yaya went dark, and that is all we currently know about this bizarre deep web video. And that's it for today's video guys, I hope you did enjoy it, and if you did, remember to give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one, and I will see you on the next video.